it, you know, the Shaman does seem to be the kill target here, and I think he knows that now. So this game could play out completely differently. Um, I would like to see maybe uh, No Life or Min, Min, Min Poke, Zuniaki. They may not be able to connect on the Shaman as well. They might have to adjust their strategy a little bit uh, onto one of the other players of the last battle. Yeah, and uh, what's great about this map, of course, most of the gameplay is going to be focused on either end of the bridge, and that means that any area effect crowd control is going to be able to strike all the targets. And uh, we are going to be following Vopat right out of the start. See, and they are going to let him get that gateway off right from the start. Um, not choosing to push in and try to uh, shut it down. And uh, Min Poke right. is going to have a tough time here trying to uh, trying to LOS all this CC. I mean, the, the, you know, once you once you get into the the ramp edge of of the other side, you kind of get stuck there. You don't have a lot of places to go. So we'll see we'll see how well he can avoid that. Yeah, and uh, right from the start, looks like uh, pets are going to be the target yet again. As you see, Vopot dotting up that uh, water elemental on the other side. Um, Artie's tossing out some Demon Soul with those Soul Swap, getting uh, those high strength dots out on every target. And look at Zuniaki already taking so much damage. Seeing a Nature Swiftness coming out from Impioki right at the beginning as he dispels an Unstable Affliction in his silence that fades and he's uh, still in kind of trouble. Yeah, he's kind of trapped by that ring there. He's, he is caught in a full sheep there. He does have some hots rolling on him. But uh, he doesn't, it looks like he's sitting that. Zuniaki's going to be dipping kind of low while he's in the sheep. He does get a follow up there. Yeah, and, and uh, look at all the damage that Zuniaki is taking as Mini Pioke is uh, in cat form right there. He's, he is playing Soul of the Forest, so he's going to be able to get a lot of heals out quickly. But already forcing the dispersion on Zuniaki was a, uh, a great job right there. Uh, offensive pressure. And look and at No, no Life. Um, yeah, they're, they're doing a lot more damage this time. They, they know what to expect. They did have a, uh, Zuniaki's team did have a small swap onto Holy there. They didn't force Trinket, didn't force too many cooldowns. I think they were just trying to counter pressure. Yeah, as Zuniaki is trying to toss out all the dots right now, um, as PQSS is going to try to get a sheep, not able to successfully sheep right there. Vopot in a cyclone, and PQSS so still down to half, and there's a Devouring Plague yeah, the on Devouring him. Plague's on him. He's going to take a lot of damage if they can land some more follow-up CC, but it looks like the Shaman's able to heal through that. Zuniaki caught in the deep right now, down to, to 80,000 health. It's just so much damage when you have all those dots on the target, that unstable affliction ticking away, those agonies, that 10 stack agony doing so much damage, and then having the mage burst on top of it, but BQS There's the silence on the holy. He's, that is, that wow. is going to force a block right there on a BQS. One silence able to do that. Uh, mage damage is, is definitely... Oh, yeah. Definitely pretty crazy. That was pretty scary right there. And we do see the Heart of the Wild out from Mini Poke, and we'll see if he is going to be able to put any offensive pressure out. They are going to be going on to Vopot right now, um, as uh, it looks like No Lifer is trying to play a little bit defensively right now, as uh, he was stuck on the back of the bridge. Um, but it looks like he is going to be trying to crowd control right now, uh, knowing that they've gone through a lot of cooldowns already on their team. Yeah, I mean, Min Poke does not, uh, he does have his trinket up, but he is playing extremely passively right now. I think uh, he's just kind of waiting to coordinate with his team, and they, they do seem to have a lot of coordination on when they go for their burst kills. Um, but other than that, he plays uh, very passively, very safe. He does, and look at that. We have a Hex onto No Lifer, which is interesting, seeing he's down to half instead of onto a target that they could have uh, crowd controlled, like Min Zuniaki, who is... Min Poke is in a full sheep oh. right now. He did decide to trinket that. I'm not sure if No Lifer doesn't, if he has hypothermia or not. Yeah, he was able to block right there. He is going to be sitting through that block as you hear the tranquility coming out. Um, and we have the, uh, look at that, more fears onto No Lifer right there as uh, it looks like it is going to be switching onto uh, BQSS as we see the silence on top of him. And it's, uh, I haven't seen too much out of uh, MIR lately. It doesn't seem like their offensive pressure is uh, right. going too well. Yeah, I really think their best bet is connecting onto that Shaman if they can. He is sitting in a full sheep right now, so they're going to try. There's the, the Devouring Plague onto BQS. It's going to be a lot of trouble, a lot of damage on this mage. You see the NS clone onto uh, the Warlock Vopat. He could just go down. He blocks at 40,000 health. Ooh. Looks like that was a cold snap uh, heal right there. Holy is caught into a super DR sheep, so he's not. He's, he should be able to come out and top him off. Yeah, and we see that Ring of Frost tossed down right at the end. That's a great ring. Uh, extremely defensive play right there. But we do see the frozen, uh, just freezing the pet. No yeah, one else. And no life is locked out on his frost tree right now. I'm not sure if he if he could just go down and die. Uh, anything's oh. possible with these mages. Yep, and now uh, we do see Zuniaki is getting really low on mana right now. Uh, I haven't seen his pet out quite yet to restore mana, but we see extremely defensive play from MIR right now, and this is completely different uh, from the first matchup as uh, the team of Last Battle is just putting a lot of offensive pressure out. We've seen a lot of pet kills already during this match. I mean, that's what these tournaments are about. You play one game, that's when you get your feel for the team. You've got to be on your toes. They're, they've, they're adjusting now. They're not letting 
uh, Holy be in a bad, a bad position. He is caught in a deep right now. It's for CC into a clone. He does trinket the NS clone. A lot of damage on a BQS devouring plague, but with the trinket there into the MCS, I think that mage is going to be fine. Right now is the time when uh, the last battle is going to be counter pressuring. It looks like they might be going on to No Lifer and Zuniaki. Minpoke is uh, his trinket's coming up soon. He is caught into a, a short deep right now into a short howl. No Lifer could be into tr trouble. He does come up with another ice block though. Yeah, and uh, that was the cold snap, too. So he is out of blocks right now. Zuniaki taking a lot of damage with a blanket counterspell onto Mimpyoki right there, uh, using those Soul of the Forest heals, able to crank those out really fast after he swift mends. Uh, we see a Palm still up on No Lifer. I wonder what he's going to do with this, um, as he's just going to sit with it up right now, uh, tossing out a couple instants. And Minpoke is, uh, is trying to go for a drink right there. He was hurting a little bit on mana. He was down to about 50k. Yeah, looking good now after that Innervate went through, and he's down to half mana right now, which is great, but look at Holy Lull's mana, completely full. Yeah, he's been completely fine, which is, com which is so different from, like you said, so different from last match. He was under pressure the entire time. All right, and we see that orb coming out. We have a deep onto Holy Lulz right there. Lots of damage coming out. That Nature's Guardian proc already. Tremendous fortitude out. So much dots onto Holy Lulz. But it looks like he's fine right now. Silence on top of into it, though. Into a silence. He, he could take some more. Into another bash. They're just putting everything into him right now. But it seems like he's going to be okay. Yeah, as he's uh, trying to skirt around that pillar while he's still being in that frost orb, um, but was able to heal his team up also as uh, we see a Cyclone onto BQSS. As uh, it doesn't look like too much damage is coming out from MAR. They're just playing passively now. We did talk about the, uh, the arena dampening is going to kick in five minutes in, so we'll let you know once that happens because that's when the clock starts ticking for this team. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it looks like uh, not much is too much happening. Both teams are playing pretty passively right now. The damage kind of comes in waves. One team uh, gets a lot of cooldowns. They try and do that counter pressure on the other. But uh, MIR is looking pretty solid right now. I mean, Min Minpoke has good mana, his trinket's up. He is caught in a full sheep right now, so we'll see what, uh, what's going to happen to No Lifer here. He's trying to play defensive, trying to run back. Zuniaki caught in a fear, but uh, assisting with some of the off heals. Yeah, and you see that ring going down. No Lifer getting locked on his frost tree right there. Um, getting a lot of heals, though, and Minipoke is in a deep freeze right there, but No Lifer is still looking pretty fine. That temporal shield is just so powerful. Right, but he did just get uh, a full line of dots on him, and Minpoke does not have a trinket, so no lifer could be in trouble here. He's got that, uh, that iron bark up. As the burst coming out onto Vopot right now, Holy Lulz having uh, his trinket is down right yeah, now, but that's not That's a huge control. heal right there onto him to, to catch him back up. MCS on a Minpoke. Uh, no, no lifer just uh, trying to play defensive, not, yeah. not pushing in. They know, that they know they can play safe, they can play passive, and, and, and uh, have a much better chance of winning drawing this game out. Yeah, and it looks like uh, No Lifer is going to have a full row of icicles right there. Let's see if he can make something happen with it. He is taking a lot of damage right now as he's howled pretty far out of range uh, across the bridge as he drops down. Yeah, it's an uh, interesting drop right there because Zuniaki is going to be in trouble with a half sheep onto Mini Pioke as uh, Zuniaki trying to keep himself alive, LOSing at the back as his druid comes over and tosses out an NS heal. Big heals, but still taking a lot of damage. Uh, yeah, I think the problem is they want to go on No Lifer. He's the one who's making everything happen, uh, but he just he's able to soak up so much more damage than that Shadow Priest. Every time they go on that on the Shadow Priest Zuniaki, they seem like they have a lot more pressure, but then No Lifer can just turn it around, CC two targets by himself, put some on oh. the holy. He's into a bash right now, into Devour Devouring Plague. He does not have a trinket up. He's into a silence. He could go down. Into a disarm. Oh, and, and that's going to be it. No Lifer barely hanging on right there, having to put a lot of offensive pressure out. It's good to see Zuniaki just bouncing back from having to play defensive for a moment and just being able to turn it around onto Holy Lulz on a long uh, crowd control chain. Of course, we did see the Cyclone onto BQSS uh, with the deep onto Holy. So that's a great idea when you're, when you're trying to score a kill on a healer to always toss crowd control out onto the, uh, yeah, the they casters. Want, they want to team. make it 3v1 as much as possible. So you have Minpoke with Cyclones on, on the mage and, uh, you know,